Now, political analysts we spoke to say that PM Lee's speech at last night's swearing-in reflected a sense of renewed purpose and was upbeat and inspirational. They say the speech also spells out a longer-term vision for Singapore compared to his address at the 2011 swearing-in where the mood reflected a need to focus on resolving issues such as housing and immigration. Protect and defend. The mood at Thursday's cabinet swearing in ceremony reflected the strong mandate secured by the People's Action Party at the recent general election. Observers say this was also captured in Prime Minister Lee Sien Lung's speech, which highlighted a sense of purpose and mission for the new government, especially when it comes to leadership renewal. He's also acutely aware um, that the fourth generation doesn't have that long gestation period you know, that many of uh, his colleagues as well as Prime Minister Go Chok Tong's cabinet, you know, uh, had. So the task at hand is great. Um, you know, so I think when, when we look at the, um, you know, the overall context of the speech, you know, I think re renewal was something that he wanted to continue uh, to emphasise. Uh, and I think in that there was also that uh, appeal to Singaporeans, you know, to support, you know, the, the fourth generation. Mr Lee's speech also focused on setting out the next chapter for Singapore. And Professor Tan says it reflected a greater confidence when it comes to engaging Singaporeans. I know there was a constant use of you, we, us. You know, so talking about uh, co-authorship, you know, of, uh, of the Singapore story, the next lap. Um, you know, that I think all this indicated, you know, that... that um, over the last four to five years, you know, that, that deep engagement has gotten down well with Singaporeans. And so I think his government will probably want to continue um, to build on that. Mr Lee said the government will roll out more focused discussions with the public on Singapore's future. These will build on the Our Singapore Conversations, which were announced in 2012. And Professor Tan said these had provided the government a good platform and experience in getting Singaporeans' views on policy matters. Senior Research Fellow Dr Julian Coe says the conversations resulted from the 2011 general election. She said Prime Minister Lee's reference to the SG50 musical in his speech also illustrates the government's acceptance of a diversity of voices. Everybody uh, could choose their roles. They could uh, express, you know, their creativity and their interests in different ways. But then, you know, it does add together into, uh, you know, one uh, great project, one great outcome. So that's the same way and there's no need for there to be groupthink, there's no need to be one way ahead alone. Dr Ko says there's a recognition that the strength in diversity will pull the nation towards making Singapore special.